The R33 and R614 roads near Wartburg in KwaZulu-Natal, Midlands, remain closed to traffic following this morning's crash between a minibus taxi and a tanker. The tanker was carrying diesel and petrol. According to the report, 13 people have been confirmed dead and indeed the road is closed until such time it's cleared, according to authorities. For now, they say the cause of the accident remains sketchy. Investigations continue. It's understood that most of the fatalities were the men and women traveling to work in the minibus. Well, our reporter, Tulani Simang is at the scene where the accident occurred near Wartburg. Thank you so much for joining us, Tulani. A very sad day for those families of people who died on their way to work. They were going to work, minding their own business, and this tragedy has occurred. What have we heard in terms of uh, eyewitnesses, what they saw? Because we know, obviously, the police are continuing with their investigations. Yes, Nongpok. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, we hear from uh, people on the scene, first eyewitnesses on the scene, that uh, there may have been uh, uh, more than four cars involved now in this, uh, in this accident when a diesel truck, as you said, was trying to avoid a, 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 text, a, a, a small car that, that was on the road here on the R, R33 and it collided, uh, it collided with a minibus text that was carrying people who were going to work. So the investigators are still uh, trying to come this in to determine what exactly happened in this accident. But the, the small car that uh, uh, caused the accident, they managed to get away. And the police, I uh, believe, are still looking for that car which caused that accident. People who were injured in this accident were taken to various hospitals around this area. We understand the dead toll now has risen to 13. We've tried to speak to families and relatives who, who have people who may have been involved in this accident. But they are trying, they are finding it hard to talk to us because they don't know what is the fate of their loved one as, uh, as they are here. Information, they are not getting the right information as to what happened to the people that, that were in the text who, may, who are their relatives. They are waiting for information that either they are in the mortuary or in the hospitals that are close by. Hmm. Very sad indeed, Tulani. So just in terms of uh, eyewitnesses who are on the scene, uh, what are they saying about the incident? They're saying that the incident happened early this morning. Uh, uh, people were co commuting to work and uh, the, the, a small car w was, was being avoided by this truck. And uh, the, the one lady that we spoke to is saying that he saw people, they were, they were lining around, especially in the taxi, the people that, that were injured in the accident, and he wasn't able to help any of them. But uh, they are still. The others were taken to hospital, and they are they are they are recovering in hospital. Okay, and then one last thing, to Lani. What about the driver of the taxi? Did he make it? We understand that the boat, uh, the, the, the driver of the minibus takes and the driver of the diesel truck escaped with, with injuries. They were also taken to hospital. But unfortunately for the passengers, most of whom were traveling on the taxi, most of them perished in that accident which happened this morning. And uh, the other thing is that this accident, the MEC said this morning, it happens in the light of the preparations of Transport Month, which aims to create awareness on the road. And it is saying that is worried uh, after this accident that uh, there are this kind of accidents that they are trying to prevent on the roads. Absolutely, Tulani. Thank you so much for that report. We'll catch up with you later. Tulani Msimang reporting there from KwaZulu-Natal.